What is the purpose of art? A pretty heavy question to start a video off with, I know. For starters, it sounds a lot like the question, what is art? Which no one really has an answer to. At least, no one's answer seems to satisfy everyone else. That question will come up again later. My first question also comes with an implicit assumption that art must have any purpose at all. Perhaps some people would disagree with me on this point. Art reflects the world, and the world itself is absurd and without purpose, but continues to exist regardless. Therefore, art is absurd and without purpose, but continues to exist regardless. However, I'm not satisfied with that, because the godless world existing isn't contingent on desire or intention, whereas art is. Without a subject whose first, who first desires a piece of art exists, and without that subject's intentional creation of that art, no art is produced. Therefore, the question must come up, why do people keep making art? In other words, for what purpose do they keep making art? In other words, what is the purpose of art? Great, now we're back at the beginning. I have no idea if other people have come up with the same idea as me before. In fact, I'm almost certain that I am not the first person to think of this. Isn't that the great thing about ideas? They flow and reproduce freely without direct link. Many people can come across the same idea from a million directions. All paths through the woods eventually lead to each other. We all gather at the watering holes and the sunny clearings to hang out. It's pretty clear that art and language are somehow linked. They seem to have both come about at around the same time in human history, for starters. Pictographic writing systems directly use artistic depictions as a function of language. These two aspects of the human experience are intertwined, but no one can seem to tell the exact details of how the intersection functions. Some art is language itself, like poetry, whereas others seem to have nothing to do with language, like dance or sculpture. It's all very strange, and I don't have any conclusive answers either. What matters is, we know for a fact that these two things are linked. The mechanics of art are very hard to study, because as previously discussed, we don't have a clear definition of what it is worth studying. In fact, it may not exist at all. Language, however, is much better suited for study. They made a name for it, it's called linguistics. Why don't we take a look at linguistics and see if it can inform a theory on art. I'm writing this video to dispel a very common sentiment I see. That is, that art is all about self-expression. When pressed, of course, it seems like another point where no one can clearly explain what self-expression is actually supposed to mean, why it's important, or why so many people feel the need to invest so much time and effort into doing it. The way self-expression seems generally to be interpreted is as a form of communication. Again, this ties back to language and art being strongly connected. The thought goes that artistic self-expression is how we can effectively communicate emotional abstractions which language alone is not equipped to deal with. At first glance, this seems like a reasonable explanation for the purpose art serves. It's a communication method adjacent to language which functions to fill in the gaps where the concreteness of language doesn't allow for satisfactory information transfer. However, I think this interpretation is only partially correct. This is because it is predicated on an incorrect assumption of the purpose of language. We'll get back to that in a minute, but first let's talk about the consequences of what I'll call the communication theory of art. Where does the communication theory position the artist? The artist becomes the journalist of the self. If an artistic statement is equivalent to a linguistic factual statement, an artist is someone who won't shut the fuck up about themselves and expects everyone else to care about how they feel. Indeed, many artists have been fooled into thinking that is indeed the purpose of art, and many audience members also believe that this is why they connect to art. An artistic statement is not much different from a statement of fact, and the artist reflexively and egocentrically spouts facts about themselves to anyone who will listen. I don't know about you, but this does not sound to me like an accurate representation of reality. Perhaps this is true in some cases, but I do not believe that this model of the role of the artist holds up at all. Firstly, the communication theory of art falls apart when you remember that artistic meaning is highly subjective. You and I could listen to the same album, but have wildly different interpretations and reactions to the same content. This alone invalidates art as an effective mode of communication. Yes, words are also subjective and subject to drastic changes in meaning and interpretation in relation to context, but to nowhere near the same extent as art. Even though I know that the intention of most of Bach's music was to express the glory of God, my emotional interpretation of his music has never felt religious at all. Imagine if language worked like that, all the time. If the meaning of nouns could be so drastically disputed, you wouldn't be able to clearly understand anything anyone was saying. Some of us already have difficulty interpreting vague words, and when we experience that struggle, it's frustrating. So why are we not then frustrated by the subjectivity of art? If you can write a song with a specific emotion in mind, but I listen to it and feel an entirely different but equally powerful emotion, then that has failed as a communication platform. Art is not about communication, primarily. The artist is not, 
always, an egomaniacal journalist of the self. Many artists are incredibly humble, introverted and selfless. But the most damning evidence against the communication theory is the simple fact that lots of people make art which they never intend to show anyone. That act makes completely no sense. Let's try and figure out a better model. As I said, we can look to linguistics to help us out here. So ask yourself, what is the purpose of language? You might think instinctively that the purpose of language is communication. Tell that to some linguists and they might politely correct you. One of the most important key discoveries of the field of linguistics is that communication is not, in fact, the primary purpose of language. The primary purpose of language is to organize thoughts. Once you can organize a thought, you can externalize a thought. That doesn't necessarily mean telling it to someone else, just separating it from yourself. Once you can externalize a thought, you can now think about thought. This is the power of language, and at least as currently theorized, one of the main factors which separates human consciousness from animals. We have the tools of language which allow us to think abstractly about our own thoughts. This is called metacognition. From this ability stems reason, critical thinking, self-awareness, it even helps explain our unparalleled sense of empathy, since we can imagine, what if this was happening to me? And all of this comes from language, from the ability to organize and thus externalize thoughts. Communication is really a side product of externalization. Remember, animals and people who don't have language can still communicate with each other. Now, let's extend that idea of externalization. A word meaning self, me, or I, works the same way as a stick figure painted on a cave wall. They both allow you to metacognitively think about yourself. This is the primary purpose of art. Externalization, organizing thoughts, metacognition. This is what self-expression should really be taken to mean. You make art as a way to organize your own thoughts, so you can think about them as something separate from the thing that's thinking about them, from the self. This model of art makes so much more sense that I do not understand why it doesn't seem more widely understood, particularly by artists themselves. Both language and art are subcategories of the umbrella categorical function called metacognition. That is why they are interlinked, because they are both part of the same process in our minds. That is why art is important and why so many people care so deeply about it. It is literally a fundamental part of human thought. The artist isn't a journalist of the self, they're more like philosophers or meditators, not desperately trying to express themselves to others, just trying to express themselves at all, so that they can achieve more complex metacognitive thought. This also helps explain why much of the most powerful and well-celebrated art deals with themes of mental health and the more negative aspects of life. These are things which require a lot of metacognitive thought to sort out and understand. Now I want to clarify, I went a little overboard before when I said that art is not about communication at all. That's undeniably one function art can serve. Songs passing down information generation to generation is an incredibly long tradition. Using an artistic medium to not only perform your own metacognition, but also to share your conclusions with others so that they too can think more deeply about the world. But hey, maybe you think I'm wrong. If so, tell me about it in the comments, and don't forget you can support me on Patreon if you want for exclusive music, videos, and posts. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.